neglect, youth is lazy. Start a business. Like, where are we gonna get this money from? Just to, to save money, you have to have money. <laughs> like, you know, like, why aren't they saving? <laughs> they don't have money. to watch this video if you are a returning subscriber welcome back and if you're new please don't leave without clicking the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you get notified every time i your fave uploads a new video so as you can see this video is so serious guys this is such a serious video and i actually did an instagram poll about this because something was pressing on my heart like I kept having like this thing tell me and because I'm a believer in God I feel like God was trying to tell me to film this video film this video it could be so beneficial to people but it is so serious okay and so I did an Instagram poll and I asked um, if you guys wanted to see a vlog first or if you guys wanted to see um, this particular video which if you have read the title you know that it's funding opportunities for small businesses in here our South Africa and 52 or 51% of you guys voted that you wanted to see this video first and I'm really excited to be making it because um, I know that South Africa is like going through a lot in terms of our economic climate a lot of people have been retrenched and if you haven't been retrenched there's a lot of job uncertainty and so I definitely think a lot of people are now starting to think like what's the other way we've watched huge corporates close down and a lot of people some people are thinking you know what it's time to get into self-employment now this is one of the most stressful times to be self-employed but if that thought comes into your mind i read a quote the other day and if that thought comes into like the person who gave you the business idea will give you the clients okay so if you have that thought or you have a business idea if the same god who gave you that business idea is the one who will give you the clients and so basically this video right here is for people who are starting a business now I'm not gonna do I'm gonna be very like I want to manage your guys's expectations I'm definitely not right going to do how to grow your business or how to make a million in a month or how to make 20,000 rand a day because that is not where I am and so I can only speak on things that I know and so this video is particularly for people who want to start a business and it's particularly created for the South African context right and not just any South African context I just want to be specific because I don't want to keep like mentioning it a South African black young person this is a video for you and so I mean obviously if you're young and you're any other race at the end black by the definition of the triple BEE standards right so um, I think that includes Indians Chinese and includes quite a lot but it is definitely like targeted at black people now you may or may not have noticed that we're in a different you know setup it really didn't make sense to make this video on my picture <laughs> Could not do that because we're talking money we're talking work and so um, I'm at workshop 17 if you are looking to start a business and you are looking to um, have workspace because that is very important to get you into the mood and the grind okay it's not important but if it's something you can do and it's something you have the budget for check out workshop 17 they're all over I'm currently in the Santa one chair and I'm really happy to be here so yes i just wanted to give you guys a very professional video um crisp content so assuming you have a business idea right assuming you've decided okay you want to embark on this journey or whatever whether as a side hustle or whether as your main thing you would have identified what you want to get into um i'm not sure if i can assist you in deciding what you want to get into because these are very tricky times okay south africa is going through a lot um in terms of economy and so i'm really not at a place to say like try this try that try this try that because actually buying power has gone down a lot and so i cannot tell you which business to get into but let's say you have this idea and you want to start now there's two things that you need step one 
you need certain documents for your due diligence. Step two, you need funding. Now, funding is essential. Funding is very important because if you're trying to like start a business, you need funding. I can't I can't stress that enough. So the reason why you find Jorge, um, and I guess it depends what business you want to start, but for me, I think the reason why, like a big barrier to entry, the reason why so many like young people have great ideas and fresh ideas but can't start is because you need funding to execute your idea. So for example, I started a clothing line, right? I could have easily just been like, um, I'm gonna call an auntie in China. Um, I'm not being shady, but I could have easily been like, okay, I'm gonna call an auntie in China and then post a WhatsApp story and be like, which jumpsuit do you guys want? Do you guys order it? I bring it here, I send it to you, which is why um, some people, like some people have pinned, you know, bad, like bad business and like mediocre, subpar quality with black businesses is because a lot of us don't have the funding to start. We're just trying to make ends meet, you know? And so you know how it goes with the Instagram boutiques. You're not really happy with the quality and that's because Auntie Wako China sent it like that. But if you have funding, you can still use Auntie Wako China, but like first test the quality. So buy for yourself first. See if you appreciate this quality. Do rebranding, do packaging, and all of that requires money, funding. Okay, so funding is very important. And I sometimes get so like offended when people are like, Black youth is lazy. Start a business. Like, where are we going to get this money from? Systematically, we've been blocked from so much. And so that's why I felt like it was very important to talk about the funding opportunities that are out there. I'm rambling. Let me get into it. So number one, there are different types of funding. First of all, let's just pass that. Different types of funding. So you could decide to either um, have like investors which is the path that i took i have two investors one silent one very active okay so i am blessed enough to have a network of people who can you know fund um my ideas and my concepts and stuff like that but if you're not as and i understand that um you need to have like someone in your network you need to you know it's you just can't approach i mean you can approach anyone girl you know there's nothing you can't do but investments is a bit more tricky you know getting a foot in the door getting the right person to sit down and talk to you when they don't know you and trust you with their funds might be a bit tricky so unless you have a network or whatever i you know what yeah okay so or you could also like so you don't need like external investors you can be your own internal investor so you could save up money to start your business which is actually that's the best way if you can save up money to start a business great but to to save money you have to have money <laughs> like you know like why aren't they saving <laughs> they don't have money to save so unless you have money to save i guess this is not going to work for you the next form of funding would be credit um and credit is based on so many things guys like getting credit in south africa is like it may be it's, it's easy but also it's not easy do you get me like there are fishy places that are giving credit like it's crazy um but then also you know there are places where it's really tough to get credit so you could do that you could go the credit route or i'm just running past these just to make sense of things do you get me the other option that you have is applying for a grant now my thing about grants is there is nothing as amazing as getting money. An e-wallet from an organization saying, la la la, kubega. <laughs> money with no strings attached, you don't have to pay that money back. Obviously, you have to use it for what it's supposed to be for, but it's, it's an e-wallet, do you get me? I'm gonna be talking about only three organizations, only because I only wanna talk about organizations I've had the opportunity to engage with. If I haven't engaged with them, I'm not going to talk about it, but I do suggest you do your research, okay? If you're planning to start a business, Google is your friend. Like, you need to search how to get funding. Put it in Google, see what they say. How to, like, you need to Google everything, even your product. How to start clothing line, they tell you. Like, you need to do your research, like, do not be afraid. But the three organizations that I'm going to get into are, number one, IDC. Now, IDC is the Industrial Development Corporation. 
The thing with IDC is that it's very industry based and so there are only certain industries that they will be funding. This does happen to change time to time so check every four or five months if the current industry you're looking to get into is not funded by the IDC but IDC is very very industry specific. Now if you love food, ne? okay shop you love to cook or whatever that's nice. Um, I mean you can start a restaurant that would be great you can start but have you ever thought of like manufacturing food like it's also time us black people also um, think about playing big but what if there was like a black owned tiger brands do you get me a black owned Albany do you get me bread black owned you know what I mean IDC is the place for you. Okay, so you go onto Google and then you search. I'm gonna put um, the screen recording that I'm doing over here. Um, you do ID, sorry, IDC, right? And so the IDC is basically the Industrial Development Corporation of South Africa. And then just click on the sectors that they fund. And um, they basically fund agro processing and agriculture. Um, transport equipment, chemicals and medical industrial mineral products, energy, infrastructure, machinery and equipment, media and audiovisual. Okay, so basically, um, you just click apply for funding now, and then um, you have to create an account. Okay, I my account is on my laptop. You log in, and basically, there's a step by step process on how to apply on that platform cool now the second um, funding platform is the NEF that is the National um, Empowerment Fund and now with them they fund both startups and um, if you just want to grow so yeah if you want to buy like an expensive machine or whatever you're already in business and that's what you're looking for they fund that now with the NEF, the minimum funding is 250,000 rand. IDC also funds like a lot. So I, you know, IDC also funds, funds a lot. I'm not sure what their minimum funding is, but it's also quite a lot. So if you're looking to open a factory or that's where you need to go, like that they're actually where you need to go. But the NEF is also funding like massively. So it's anything from 250,000 rand to 15 million rand. So have you ever thought of like, of like buying a business? Perhaps I know these are things like we haven't thought of and stuff like that, but there is funding available for that now I don't want to sit here and say the funding process is so easy or whatever But as a person who's starting a business you need to try Everything like somebody may be like mm, I'm not sure or whatever Ooh, that tender looks a bit big Ooh, Just try like just try everything Try if you lose nothing actually by applying for any if it doesn't cost you anything you lose absolutely nothing just maybe printing and time and also if you're trying to do what you want to do for your business you can't say it's a waste of time so with the national um, empowerment fund you need to okay so you just click on funding solutions right and then how to apply for funding um, you get your application form. Now, the NEF funding process is extremely comprehensive, okay? The application process is, like, it's, they want to know what you had for breakfast. Like, it's extremely, 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 extremely com comprehensive. Um, so, you click there for the application form. And as you can see, um, if we go down to the document and information checklist, they have for both existing businesses and startup businesses. And so the documents that you need may not be as extensive for startup, but um, it's very big for existing businesses. So yeah, that's on the NEF. Um, they fund 200, I think I said 215 million, but they fund anything from 250,000 rand to 75 million rand, honey. Hmm. The last um, funding platform that I want to talk about is my personal favorite. Now, this NYDA, listen, you guys have my actual heart, okay? I love NYDA with everything in me because it's not as comprehensive. It's specifically for youth. So this is the National Youth Development Agency, yeah. So it's specifically for youth and 
listen like they give grants they give grants easily also i've mentioned like big monies in this video if you're just looking for like ten thousand rand nyda got you okay i'm obsessed with nyda so um with the national youth development agency grant you just click on the grant program and yeah so they have both financial support and non-financial support now if you manage to get non-financial support take it okay sometimes um building networks um building yeah networks building experience that is sometimes even better than actually getting money so if you can have you know the non-financial funding you're you're not going wrong like that's still great so you need to be youth which is between the ages 18 and 35 which is a bit shocking but you know what this is south africa 35 year olds are youth okay <laughs> okay and you need to just have skills experience or with potential skill okay so here is the nyda voucher and grant form um as you can see there's section d now section d is for a startup so you must have some sort of business idea right and then section e is for an existing business so whether or not you have registered a company or it's just a thought in your mind you may apply or if you are already an existing company and just willing and you're just looking to grow or perhaps just you know pay like an expense or whatever you can look at nyda as well now the nyda for me it's much smaller it's focused on youth and so your chances of getting funding with nyda are much higher than the other um platforms i'm personally a fan of nyda not necessarily for their financial funding but also for the support that they can give you as a company that's just starting or looking to grow um as i did say before you it's not always about money or whatever it's also great to just have um support sometimes you know this journey gets lonely it, it gets crazy or whatever i know personally if i didn't have the support system that i had i would have been suicidal or not even in business anymore and so a strong support system even if it's not your own support system but an external support system like nyda is validation and like a tap on the back what are you doing well we believe in you and we're here to help you grow i really did try to do this video to like the best of my abilities and if you have any questions please do comment them below send me a dm if any of you do try okay somebody just turned on the light outside if any of you if any of you do apply please do let me know um i would love to pray with you pray for you for you to get the funding and if there's anything you need like help with the process or whatever let me please just let me know but also these organizations are like full-time organizations so if there's anything like you're wondering about your application that i can't answer because i can't answer everything they will definitely help you thank you so much for tuning in and i just hope um if this is like some sort of sign girls start that business like if this if, if you're thinking i really want to i've been thinking about it wait skiing i'm thinking on it i'm thinking on it i'm thinking on it this is the sign that you need you need to start that business baby you need to start it okay and for me if only one person applies for funding i'd be so happy because i would have done my part um i really just want to see us all win and yeah guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and find it found it sorry um and found it beneficial in some way i guess that's it i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in the next one bye it's time for me to go grab a drink hey big for my la i look so good i must actually start filming all my videos here like i'm joking guys we're going back to my room soon we'll be back in my room anyway i love you guys so much bye